Finally. Finally. Finally, I feel like this is taken. This is the, the look I f was like waiting for seven, seven years, seven years for this patch. Please come to us. Don't let me down. They're gonna let me down. They're gonna let me down. I know they're gonna let me down. I was waiting for seven years. I know it's not possible, but I feel like I was waiting seven years. Let's see what this. What else do we have? It's uh, we're talking about okay, all should be dungeons open. That's nice. All of our little essences. We can make sure we farm all of those as much as possible. Uh, fr 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 ascension free entrance event. Okay, additional resource download. This is just for this is just for the patch. Uh, maintenance of world arena. That's happening now. Okay, maintenance of world arena is happening now, and then the schedule for this is going to be right. It's going to be soon. So we better f do this video quick, quick, quick. We better do this video quick. All right. Uh, hi, it's come to us. Here's a walkthrough of the monster balancing we will be carrying out soon. We've been paying close attention to user opinions. Have you? Have you? We'll find out. Have you? We will find out. Please note the actual balancing patch may be different from the details below. Okay. The balancing patch will be included in the next update. Uh, you know what they told me? What, what I was told is that the new homunculus stuff was going to be before the next balancing patch. So I guess they decided to go against that or is this the homunculus stuff is going to be coming out now too i don't the it could be i have no idea all right so let's go take a look at fire fairy king first one decrease skill cooldown by one turn i'm done i'm done i'm so done i'm so done i'm so done Waiting for that, waiting for that buff to make him useful. Decrease cooldown time by one turn. Well. That's great. That's, that's great. You know what? It's okay. It's, it's, some monsters need to stay in storage, I guess. Some monsters need to stay in storage. Okay, please let the Dark Fairy King have a better. Okay, previously increased the maximum skill cooldown of all enemies by one turn with the power of piercing gaze. Will not affect boss type monsters, cannot be stacked up. Change to decrease chances of the allies being granted with totally different skill. Uh, decrease chances of allies being granted with weakening effects by 20% and increases the duration of the weakening effects that the allies, excluding those that are under inability effects, grant on enemies. By what? Okay, so like, let's say if you have a two turn defense break now that your team does, it's now a three turn defense break. Uh. Does that mean- Holy crap! Does that mean you have a Varad and now your Varad is gonna do a two-turn freeze? Holy crap, that is OP. Holy crap, that's OP. Right? Well, no, 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 it says weakening effects. This is weakening effects. Weakening effects, I don't think, are the same as inability effects. I'm not sure how they're gonna- I'm not sure how they're gonna do that. I think- I'm not sure if this is gonna be just what they're intending is just for defense break, attack break, speed break, stuff like that. Uh, or if they're talking about also freeze, because that is an inability effect. So we'll see if they're if they if the weakening effect also includes the free because you don't you don't know. Sometimes come to us like the way they word things is different from how the actual is there a piece of hair on my face? Oh my god. Sometimes it's different from the actual thing. Uh but we also have decreased chances of getting weakening effects, so like that's pretty that's pretty interesting. Uh, so he's just... Okay, there's no other thing that, that increases duration of weakening effects as a, as a passive. There's no other passive skill that increases duration of weakening effect. Like, there's other, there's monsters that like, but... Okay. And decreases chances, so decreases allies getting weakening effects, so that means, like, basically you have 20% more resistance on your whole party, and like, you're probably thinking, like, why don't they just make it as leader skill? Well, this way you could have a speed leader skill, or an HP leader skill, and also have that resistance passive, that team, 20% team resistance. Okay, I see it. Uh, Dark Sky Dancer, Dagger of Grudge, inflicts damage that ignores all damage reduction effects when your HP is below 50, uh, HP is 50% or below, without any requirements, okay. Without your this, but she's still like a dark, uh, a dark Carl. Just, Carl is the dark. He's already the dark one. That's re that's redundant. Anyway, 
Uh, okay. Okay. That's at least a buff. Uh, Pioneer. I really haven't used the Dark Sky Dancer too much. Pioneer, Fire Wind. Oh, Fire Wind and Dark. Fire Wind, I have both of those in the Dark. North Star's Wisdom, second skill. Attack lands a crushing hit. Instead, attack won't land as glancing hits. So what's the difference? That means it can crit now. Which is good for the wind one, but not good for the fire one, because I use that against Camila, so we're gonna have a problem. Ah, uh, we, we might. I like the crushing hit with, with, with the fire one, though. I really like the crushing hit as the fire, and I like the, I like the, this is a, this I think is like a kind of a nerf to the fire one, for me, personally, and a buff to the wind one. But now, I mean, now you de before you really definitely did uh, crit damage for- So, crit damage is absolutely the way to go on all three skills. Get a benefit from crit damage on that- on that wind one. Nice. And, of course, the dark one as well. But the wind one is definitely attack or damage attack. Um, and then what do we have for the lightning of cycle attacks all enemies when the enemy you attacked is defeated? Uh, now, it is going to attack all enemies and inflicts half the damage you inflicted on other- Default damage amount has been decreased. <laughs> hey, can't just... <laughs> We've been listening to our user opinions. Everyone's saying, buff, buff the wind pioneer, buff the wind pioneer, buff the wind pioneer. So what do they do? So what do they do? Decrease the amount of damage he does. Solid. Solid idea. Solid idea. Decrease the amount of damage. <laughs> Decrease due to bouncing. Okay, uh, I mean, it's it's gonna AOE guaranteed though now, but now it's just gonna do less damage. Why why was that the idea that they came up? I don't know. 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 Okay, well, again, stays in storage. I guess. I guess he's staying in storage. <laughs> this is a really solid bouncing patch. Uh, okay. A cult girl, dark, dark guardian angel, added effect, increase the attack power of all allies for three turns before attacking. Oh, cool. Oh, actually, hold on. Dark guardian angel. She buffs her own attack before attacking. That's pretty cool. That's pretty solid. Actually, that is that is pretty neat. I like that. All right. Uh, dark guardian angel is, is her third skill. Yeah. I wonder how. I I don't remember what her stats are off the top of my head. But that's actually pretty cool for. Uh, for that now, if you're like, I don't have a go uh, Galleon, but I do have a Dark Occult Go. Who has that problem? Like, two people in the world have that problem. But then they could be like, oh, I'll just use Lure, or I'll use just another AoE Defense Breaker, and then don't need to use Galleon. Just use an AoE Defense Breaker, and then, uh, like, Ritesh. Oh, actually, could, could do Ritesh, and then Dark Guardian Angel, and then you have a little bit of a heal there. You have, uh, Ritesh instead of, like, a Galleon, since we don't need, uh, you wouldn't need the Galleon. Okay. It's a little different way to play that. Uh, then we have... What do we have? Water... Rakshasas are getting a buff. Okay. Water, Wind, and Dark Rakshasa. Fast Swing modified to damage. Also increases according to your attack speed. Okay. Hold on. Fast Swing modified to damage. Also increases according to... As your attack speed increases. What was it? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was it before? The before was attack speed 2. I don't know, I don't know what the, uh... Oh, sw okay. Okay. That's not the one I was thinking of. Uh, oh, nice! So both of these are gonna be based on, uh, attack speed. Cool. So first skill is based on attack speed, second skill is based on attack speed. Nice. Okay, that's what it was. That's what it was. I, was like, what? I thought for some reason I thought the f the the first skill was uh, called the fast swing. Okay, nice. So decrease cooldown. So now speed crit damage attack is always the way. Uh, speed crit damage attack was always the way to go before, but now everything is based on attack speed, which is nice. Uh, and then decrease cooldown. Nice. Really nice for the Rakshasas. And then fire and light one burning swing modified. Okay, so the second skill on the fire and light one is going to be speed. So all the all the rakshasas, 
too long, didn't read all the Rakshasa's uh, attack speed. Second skills are based on attack speed now as well. Okay, so everything is based on attack speed. And then Dark Rakshasa, buffing a Holy Heroes monster, nice. Decreased attack bar by 20% is now 30%, and decreased cooldown from 5 to 4 turns. This is great for the, the Dark Rakshasa, man. That's nice. Decreased cooldown, she's gonna be like... Beautiful, she's wonderful. I already liked her, I already thought she was a good monster. But now it's, she's even better, great. Decreased cooldown time. Light Undyne, another Hall of Heroes monster that they're buffing. Okay, I can get I can get on board with this. I can get on board. I'm not so happy about the Daphnis, that's the only thing he got. But I can get on board with the buffing Hall of Heroes monsters. Uh, decreased cooldown time. Good, I think that needed to happen. I think that needed to happen, I agree with that. Uh, Fire Death Knight Extortion, decreased cooldown time by one turn. Okay. Okay, okay. I gotta- you know what? I gotta pump up my HP on mine, because I wanna- I have some ideas for the Fire Death Knight. I have some ideas. I have- I have not- I ruined him a long time ago, I used him like twice, and then I stopped using him. I don't know why, I don't know why I stopped using him. Um... We have the Hell Lady. Okay, Hell Lady. Fire, Wind, and Dark Hell Ladies. Shatter, added effector, attack bar will increase by... 10% when the attack lands a critical hit. Alright, nice little buff to the Fire, Wind, and Dark Hell Ladies. Nice little buff. Not anything game-breaking. Barbaric King, Dark Frenzy. Number of attack decreased from 2 hits to 1 hit. For the third skill of the Dark BK. No change in the total amount of inflict inflicted damage. Increase the chance of recovering a turn instantly without any cooldown time by 20... Oh, wow! Oh my god, this guy's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go batshit crazy. So instead of two two hits, it's one hit. Um, what what? I mean, aside from Necropolis, what else does that impact? I'm not sure what else that impacts. It's gonna be better for Giants. It's gonna be worse for Necropolis. Uh, increases chance of recovering the turn instantly from 25 to 40 percent on Violet. Oh my God! I've I've seen him go crazy before. We're gonna see we're gonna see some YouTube videos. We're gonna see some YouTube videos of him just going nuts. More so than before. All right, if we fire free ancient power passive, okay, okay, okay. Fire free increases damage by 20% is now 30% when the enemy target is granted with harmful effects. When he already does two harmful effects anyway. Okay. That's gonna, and people have been using him in world arena, so that's nice. Uh, most people don't even think about his passive increasing damage by 20%. Like, it's like, I always forget about that. I'm like, oh yeah, he does do that. Oh yeah, he does do that. Uh, but nice for, nice little world arena buff for Fire Freet, which a lot of people, most people have, not everyone, but most people have. If you summon five of Freets, you can get him. If you don't already have him, you can get him. Uh, fa fairies, fire and dark, double arrow, when two arrows hit the same target, stuns is now guaranteed to stun for one turn. Okay, it's just a little, little buff there, just a guaranteed stun. Sleep spell uh, for the water fairy, decreased cooldown time, all right. Uh, fire fairy, increased damage, 13%, not bad. Because sometimes it's like 5%, 7%, it's like, eh, you can't get excited over that. Uh, increases recovery amount for the light fairy king, Fami for the light, uh, for the light one is, increases damage by 12% too, all right. Dark Cowgirl. So we just got some some damage buffs for there. Dark Cowgirl, Devil's Bullets. Uh, chance of landing a glancing hit is decreased by 50%. Chance of landing a critical hit is increased by 30%. Okay. There we go. Crit buff. Isn't that the same? Isn't like... The other one has a crit buff too, doesn't she? One of the other Cowgirls. I don't know, but that's nice. Uh, similar. Amazon. Uh, not too many people use her anyway. The Dark Cowgirl. And you'd have to, first you'd have to have been playing at the time that she was given out. Uh, Amazon. All Amazons. Accurate shot. Uh, inflicted damage proportion to attack power. Max HP inflicted damage. So now all Amazons are going to be good for bosses. Squishy though, but good for bosses. Uh, water, Amazon, Ice, Arrow, Decrease, Cooldown. Oh, nice. Nice. For TOA. That's nice. Oh my god, I gotta sneeze. Just kidding, I don't have to sneeze. I still have to sneeze. I still have to sneeze. Okay. Um, nice for TOA. Um, let's see. 
I like I like that water Amazon's got some fun skills anyway. Uh, f actually, I should build her. I should build her. Because I want something that does what she does. So I don't know why I haven't built her yet. That's a good idea. Remind me of that. Don't remind me of that. You'll never stop reminding me. Uh, let's see. Wait, Ice Arrow. Ice Arrow. That's the... I want to I wanna check what that is. Uh, fire Arrow. In continuous damage. Decreased cooldown. Okay, so all the Amazons just get uh, decreased cooldown. Uh, poison Arrow of the Dark Amazon. Oh, no, that's their second skill. That's their second skill. Second skill. Uh, and then the dark one is enemy cannot be revived if it's killed with this heal. Nice! Dark Amazon. But I mean, like, so it was it was kind of annoying before, like, you had to wait to try to kill someone again if you didn't kill them with the third skill. So now at least both of them. That's a, at least a nice... I wish they had that buff, like, two or three years ago, because then I would have I would have used her more. I was excited about her before, and I was like, man, it's like, you gotta keep waiting to get that third skill again. Uh, okay, and then what else do we have? Uh, what else? Fire last shot, 70% chance of landing a critical hit is now 50% increased damage if the target's HP is more than twice if you're... Cur oh, nice, so she's gonna be able to take out tanky monsters. So now, before it was like you didn't have to worry about crit rate too much on her, now she's just gonna do more damage. Bigger multiplier, nice. Well, conditionally, bigger multiplier and decreased cooldown. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Amazon Light Phantom Crush. If the target is immune to stun, the damage will be increased by 30%. Light Amazon. Does that mean bosses too? Are we going to increase damage on bosses because they're immune to stun? I guess we'll see. Uh, Dark One Soul Crush. Inflicted damage increases by 8%. And 4 turn cooldown. Nice. Alright, they already did pretty good damage if I remember correctly. But now we're just going to do some more damage. Uh, Beast Monk. Oh, Beast Monk! Buff. Defend. Added effect. Protects the ally target for three turns. Instantly recovers a turn afterwards. Okay. Little extra violent proc chance. I mean, not violent proc. It's not even a violent. It's a guaranteed chance to move again. It's not a violent proc. Uh, nice. Okay. But this means, like, this means maybe you don't ruin them violent because they're already going to recover a turn. Or, or are you less likely to ruin them violent because they're gonna recover a turn. Nice. At least it's at least it's a buff. At least they're buffing the monsters that everyone was like, you know what? You know what? Here's the thing. They're like, we don't want to buff these. Let's just buff these a little bit to shut them up for <laughs> to shut people up for a while, and let's buff the three. They really want to buff these three stars. Look at the Amazon. The Amazons. They buff the crap out of them. It's like buffs to every skill of every Amazon. Uh, and then the Beast Monk. The one people are complaining that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be enough for the, the the beast monk people, the people that have them, them beast monks. It's at least something though. It's at least something. But I think I think generally what I've been hearing from the people that that have uh, the water and dark beast monks is like they want it to be like a regen, like to have like a little healing thing or or something else added with that uh, defend. Not an extra turn, but I don't think it's what they wanted. But it is at least a buff. And you know, okay, and another thing, guys, remember when Rakan started getting, but people like, buff Rakan, buff Rakan, buff Rakan, and people, and they finally buffed Rakan, and then like, think about it this way, in the next patch after they buffed Rakan, they buffed him again, and then they like, I think they buffed him like several times, in a row, they like buffed him, and they did like a little bit, and then they're like, is that good enough? No, we'll do it a little bit more. The only thing is like, the next buff after this, who knows when it's gonna be. Who know, it might be 2019, I have no idea, but like, maybe they're gonna keep buffing, maybe they'll just buff it little by little, but uh, the amount of time it took to get this patch, the, I, I, would, I can't even imagine how long it's gonna take to get the next patch. Uh, Alright, then Succubus, all Succubuses, Dreamy Invitation, added effect, attacks without waking up the enemy that's under sleep. Dreamy Invitation, increase the attack bar by... So that's all. Of the, so that's their first one. Attacks without waking up the enemy that's under sleep. Increase the attack bar by 50%. If the enemy successfully falls asleep, is going to recover the attack bar by 50%. Okay. What does this really mean, though? Like, if you sleep and then you get another turn, and then you can just do your first skill again without waking them up. Okay, that's, that's nice. Increase attack bar by 50%. Is now recovers the attack bar by.
I don't know that I don't know the difference in wording. Okay. I don't know if there's a I guess there's a difference between increases the attack bar and recovers the attack bar. But I really I don't know why it's I, I'm just confused by that a little bit. Uh it sounds like the same thing. Uh, added effect attacks without waking up the enemy that's under a sleep with a strike of rejection. Uh, and then when attack Okay, so they want to be able to not wake up the enemy that's under a sleep with these succubuses. Succubuses. Succubus. <laughs> when attacking the enemy that's under sleep, stuns for one turn, is now increasing damage by 50%. Okay. So now it's not gonna stun, now it's going to increase the damage. Extra damage. But do we usually build her for damage anyway? The water one I think yes, the water one we have been building for damage, but the light one usually is not built for damage. It's usually built like with just... just for CC. Uh, and then we have Fire Dark Twisted Joy. I just pulled the dark one. I just pulled the dark one, guys. I literally, yesterday, just pulled the from the from the monthly scroll. And I was like, do I need to put a video, just because I pulled a dark four star on, I need to make a video especially for that. Right? Uh, but I did just pull the dark one. Attacks the enemy, uh, transfers up to two harmful effects, and heals yourself with 30% of the damage dealt. Damage increases as the HP gets lower is now attacks without waking up the enemy that's under sleep, replaces up to three beneficial effects granted on a target with stun. Replaces three beneficial effects with stun, increased chances of missing, and decrease defense. So that's the second skill. Okay. It did transfer, now which is just going to replace beneficial effects. So replace, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's going to replace, uh, like defense buff, attack buff, and maybe even like Theomar's, uh, Theomar's, uh, his, his, whatever, his, uh, you know the thing. The the, the, the Theomar's is a bitch thing. Uh, with stun increased chance of missing and decrease defense. So glancing hit and decrease defense. I like that. I think that's actually pretty cool. Because I always think transfer is too harmful effects. Like, okay, well, what if we're not under harmful effects? So I like this one better, actually. I, I definitely think that's a buff to the Fire and Dark ones. And then the Water Parting Gift added effect acts... Okay. Without waking up the enemy. Puts the enemy to sleep for two turns with the enemy when the enemy's attack bar is empty. Okay. Oh, nice. And absorbs... Okay, so we empty the attack gauge even more, and then we put the enemy to sleep. That's pretty good. So the Succubus has got a noticeable buff. The Succubus and the Amazon are the big ones that got the buffs. And some Rakshasas. Like, the, Rash the Rakshasas got a buff, but the Rakshasas were already... I mean, it's not like we're gonna build them, ba like, speed crit damage attack now, like, based on, like, as opposed to before, because we were already building them speed crit damage attack anyway. Uh, and then we have Succubus. So all of the Succubus skills are just not going to wake up the enemy that's under sleep. Oh my god, so do you start making Succubus, uh, Hathor teams? I could see, like, Succubus, Hathor, Succubus, and, um, Water, Water Heart Magician teams, too, being a thing. Because the Succubus is not going to wake anyone up with any of their skills now. Under sleep. So you can just keep doing damage, not even worrying about who's sleeping or not. Wow, that's scary. Succubus is in your dreams. And then leader skill. Nice. Uh, okay, so the leader skills of all the Amazons. They really wanted to buff these Amazons! Accuracy leader skill. Speed leader skill for the fire one. 16%. Does that make her a thing now? Mm, I don't think so. I mean... You could, in a, like, a... Maybe in a guild war... Like a YOLO guild war defense. With her and Orion. But she gonna die pretty fast. Uh, and then the... What else? Critical hit for the wind one. Attack power. I mean, it's not- it's not just a couple percentage. And then the dark one is going from accuracy to attack power. Okay. That might be nice for some niche guild battles with, like, uh, revivers. Alright. AI for the water martial artist. 
I don't I don't know that he really needed that, but okay. AI. Most mostly he I see him used in uh, offense, like Guild War offense, more than anything else. Sacred Fire Dark, Twisted Joy. Okay, AI buff. Okay, AI buff on the monsters that they buffed, right? AI improvement on the monsters that they buffed. Awakening effect changed to Okay, now he's got all his three skills when not awakened. This late Garuda, alright. And then skill descriptions. Not changing anything, just changing the... Changing the names. Changing the descriptions. And skill errors. Okay, so these are just skill errors. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think this is gonna help the people that were already angry about. I think this is basically not a buff for many of the monsters that the people wanted buffs. Buffed. People wanted the Wind Pioneer buffed. People wanted the Fire Fairy King buffed. I think this... I want to see what the Dark Fairy King owners... There's not very many of them. But I want to see what they think of this one. Because this one's actually pretty interesting. This one, I want to see how... Maybe how it's used. But I think that one's at least a little bit interesting. The Dark Occult Girl, I think, is pretty interesting. Um, but, and I'm glad that they buffed some of the Hall of Heroes monsters, but I think the Fire Fairy King, the Wind Pioneer, and the, uh, Water and Dark Beast Monks, which people wanted buffed, and they were like, please buff, please buff, please buff, please buff for the longest time. I mean, Vanessa still doesn't have a buff. Still doesn't have a buff. Um, even though Samoth, like, this, do they not, like, I know they know that it is... They, they have to, like, Comptos has ha, has to look at the meta and say, hmm, top arena, there's like 60% Samoth leaders, and then there's zero Vanessas. Maybe that says something. Maybe that says something, like, to the vibe, like, to, maybe these monsters are not as well balanced as we thought. Maybe one is stronger than the other. No, you didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't notice. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think that the... I don't think that this is what the community wanted. I think they just... Here's what I think it was. I think they're like, let's just do something to make them shut them up for a while. I don't think it's what the, it, this is. This is not what the community wanted. I, I maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if, if, cause I'm I'm just one person. I'm just one person. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Your opinion is completely 100% valid, even if you disagree with me. So. Uh, let me know your opinion on that. Uh, but I just think, I think it's not enough, it's not what the people that had these monsters wanted. So, that's just, that's just my opinion. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know your opinion in the comments below. Oh my god. I'll see you guys as always in the next video.